Aimful, the UN Food and Agriculture Organization FAO, awarded the prestigious Agricola Medal to genocidal RMO Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed Ali because he is depopulating Christian Ethiopia by creating famine, hunger and war. Yes. Nobel Peace Prize for Genocide, and now Hunger Medal for Starvation. Such are the types of sick jokes global organizations like FAO, the Nobel Committee and their likes play on Africans and Christians. When Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed received the Nobel Peace Prize in 2019, plus the 2021 German Africa Prize in the middle of the genocidal war in Christian northern Ethiopia, he was then lauded as a regional peacemaker. But these prizes paved the way for more wars and sieges. The Norwegian Nobel Committee decided to award the Nobel Peace Prize for 2020 to the World Food Programme WFP, for its efforts to combat hunger. The news over the weekend that the fascist RMO Prime Minister of Ethiopia, Abiy Ahmed Ali was awarded an award by the Food and Agriculture Organization FAO, a specialized agency under the United Nations for his commitments to food security and nutrition is appalling. It is like the UN agency, FAO never have read or followed other UN agencies and their struggles to even feed the hungry people of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia FDRE. Abiy isn't a guy who has prospered by feeding people. No, he and his bureaucracy has blocked humanitarian assistance, ensured man-made famine and created hostile regions where the agricultural sector has been destroyed. That's what Abiy has fought for and built over the years. Yes, he has propaganda shots with some wheat fields and wants to speak of self-sufficient nation, but he needs the aid and the public needs it too to survive at this point. Ocha has in the recent situation report dated from the 10th of January 2024 saying this. The Ethiopian government and humanitarian partners are stepping up life-saving efforts in the most affected areas across the country despite severe resource constraints and operational challenges, including active hostilities in some areas. Out of 20.1 million people targeted for food and cash assistance at the start of 2023, over 18 million people received food assistance at least once between January and October 2023. About 7.3 million most prioritized people were also reached between May and November, more specifically. 3.7 million people with food and cash support from the government and 3.6 million people in shock response safety net program supported by the World Bank. Since mid-December, with the resumption of the USAID-funded food assistance, partners have provided food aid and cash support to approximately 6 million people in the Amhara, Tigray, Somali, and Afar regions. Some 8 million US dollars was allocated in November under the Ethiopian Humanitarian Fund, EHF, for response in Amhara region. Nevertheless, deepening food, nutrition, water, sanitation, and hygiene, WASH, protection, health, agriculture, and livelihoods needs dwarf these efforts as pockets of similar needs can be found in Oromia, southern and southwest regions. Partners continue to call on donors to provide resources to enable an urgent large-scale multi-sector response to reach close to 4 million people in the first half of 2024-inch, OCHA, January 10, 2024. When you have this sort of OCHA situation report dated the 10th of January and on the 28th of January the other UN agency FAO awarded him an award on their behalf. That I just insincere or weird. Is the FAO as an agency eaten up by the propaganda of the FDRE entities? Because do they believe what the government news organizations is spewing? Since there are other news and worrying signs across the Republic. When millions of civilians are struggling with malnutrition and hunger. It isn't fitting to give that leader accolades to ensure food security. The numbers aren't getting better, and more regions are getting hit. This being Ogaden, Somali region, Oromia, Amhara, and Tigray to mention a few. That is huge part of the Republic and doesn't FAO see this? Who in their right mind awards someone who is known for weaponizing humanitarian aid during conflict? It is like FAO haven't followed or cared about the policies that the Prosperity Party really has. The FAO is either naive or bought to believe the narratives that is told by ruling regime of Ethiopia. Abiy will thrive on this one and bash in glory. He is the notorious warlord that was rewarded a peace prize. The reptilians who awarded the Nobel Peace Prize to Abiy Ahmed Ali, because he was advised to make an alliance with the Eritrean dictator Isaias Afawerki Abdullah Hassan. 
His pact with equally notorious Afawerkia Della Hassan, which won Abiy Ahmed a Nobel Peace Prize in 2019, was essentially a war pact. Since the beginning of the genocidal jihad in the northern Ethiopian regions of Tigray, Amhara, and Afar in November 2020 till today, 1.5 million Orthodox Christians were brutally massacred. 200,000 Orthodox Christian women, children, and nuns were raped and abused. Over a million female Ethiopian slaves are sold to Arab countries. 20 million Ethiopian are forced to experience food insecurity. By the fascist Islamo-Protestant Aramo Army of the Prosperity Gospel Heretic PM Abiy Ahmed Ali and his Arab, Israeli, Turkish, Iranian, European, American, Russian, Ukrainian, African allies. Now evil Abiy Ahmed Ali is the one that caused hunger, starvation, and famine, but rewarded with a award saying he worked for food security. The ones dying and struggling must wonder what is wrong in this world. As the diabolical institutions are awarding the devil the title of a saint. They are saying the devious leader is the aspiring one and the one to celebrate. The one that is behind and organizer of the trouble of the Republic. That guy is getting accolades and being cherished abroad. While people are living in dire straits with no sorts of mechanisms saving them. The nation has no interests in safeguarding them or even trying to conceal their acts. Instead, they blame others or their enemies.